Hi hi and welcome to another video. I am Dorfingham Art and today we're going to draw this fantasy bird uh, which is Aina. Uh, she is a fawn which is a fantasy bird from a story online. She is a companion to my main character in the book and uh, she is a very rare bird. Uh, it's not very usual to see a fawn uh, near Nakotas, uh, which is uh, the race uh, in my book. Uh, uh, why this is, is because uh, she has some powers, uh, the bird race. Uh, the feathers can be used to cure almost any illness and uh, wound, even if you are almost dead. So many people or Nakotas in this case wants to uh, chase these birds and take the feathers. Uh, which is quite a sin in uh, the word of Griftami, which is my word. Uh, and uh, yeah, I don't want to tell too much about her and too much about the story because I have come a long bit with it, uh, a long way, I mean to say, a long way with it, and uh, it's planned to be a book, and I don't think it would help to tell too much if I will have it out soon. Uh, but she is a character who will uh, appear in the book, and uh, she is very important. Uh, so, I'm very glad to have had the time to draw her today. Uh, I had drawn her before, which is the picture in the beginning. Uh, but that was just very fast and now I have refined it and uh, really really take the time to testing and thinking about how she will look. So here I'm just trying to understand how I should do with her claws because I'm not really good with birds in general. Uh, I know I did look at some reference for the first picture but for this picture I was just using the picture I already had and uh, unfortunately I haven't um, write it down which uh, reference I did have to, for the first. But if I find it I will put it uh, under this picture in my DeviantArt account. So. Yes, here I'm just trying to block her colors in. She is, uh, she's almost completely black, but she is going for a more bluish tone. Uh, so this is what I am trying to do here and uh, I was really wondering how I should do the feathers and get it to look like she was really covered in feathers. But I really like uh, the bluish tone I did find and it really suited her. 
so that's awesome I will uh, this will be the start of a series of pictures because I have a lot of pictures I have to do uh, for the book and so uh, and uh, I will uh, have a lot of uh, Grifta Me pictures uh, for you uh, to see. Uh, I'm not gonna to spoil anything about uh, the potential book or the story. Uh, more like a presentation of uh, some characters and places. Yeah. And so. I don't really know what to say. It's really late. Uh, it's almost midnight for me here in Sweden when I am recording this. So I'm sorry if my voice is a bit odd, but it's because I'm really tired and I should uh, really go to bed, but I wanted to have this up for you and I hope that uh, the internet will be nice to me and get it up in time. I think I'm starting to fix our feathers a bit, yeah, uh, the head pieces and uh, the eye of course. I was thinking about making her, oh, what is it called in English? E oh, I'm really sorry. Um, if I should make it uh, dark or light, um, finally I'm settling with a bluish blue greyish tone uh, and here I'm just fixing her markings which is a very big thing in the uh, among both animals and uh, uh, the race of the uh, uh, Nakotas who is very look like a human but uh, not really. So yeah, that, there I did fix the beacon to be more bluish. Trying to get some feather Oh, I'm really tired. I lost in my words right now. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Uh, but yeah, uh, just fixing some details of her, trying to get things to look more detailed and uh, much more nice. Often I have to stop myself because I am really the one who can overdo things. So it was really too bad. Yeah, stop. Don't do more now. Here I'm fixing her bluish eyes. She is a very blue character, I would say. In general, it's her main color and dark and blue. But she is a really nice uh, character and really friendly, even if she is a bit dark. So, starting with the background now. Here I was trying to figure out how I should do. Um,
I don't want to cut out too much from my videos because I think it's uh, quite nice to see uh, for others who is struggling that it, it takes a, uh, a lot of time before even I am happy uh, with my pictures and how I will draw it. I know in a couple of months or in a year or so I, I will uh, question uh, my my colors and my lines and everything and uh, that's not uh, strange at all uh, we always do that as artists I'm very I'm often happy with my results, but I don't want to be too happy because I can't learn from being too happy with it. I am very critic about my own work. Uh, often I think it looks really bad. Uh, so I'm working with it, but. Uh, that's why, or I mean, <laughs> I think it's a part of being an artist to be a critic about uh, your art yourself. It means that you want to learn to be better, and uh, you are not really settled in one way. So I don't think it's a bad thing. So now I'm in the ending of the background and I thought I would make some of her feathers falling around her. And I was a bit lazy so I did uh, copy it my feathers and put it on more places later but here I'm just fixing the tree and then I think I will be done so I'm really happy that you took the time to watch this video and I hope I will see you in the next one if you like this, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment or share. I would really appreciate it. Hope you have a great day. Love to you all. Bye.